Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So, okay, we're doing something really different. So I'm doing a hair tool comparison today. So I've done something like this in the past and you guys seem to really like it. I did a battle of two different curling irons, a really expensive one and then a really affordable one that was like $20. That was like one of my most popular videos. So today I am back to do that only with blow dryers. So I have a very expensive, bougie hair dryer and then I have the more affordable and very popular Revlon One Step Hair Dryer. I just came out with a new version of this that's like thinner and has a medium heat setting. I have the original one so I'm just going to go ahead and use this. So I'm going to get into everything. My hair's back in a ponytail right now. Um, so if you guys are interested in this video, keep watching, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, hey, my name is Kim. Subscribe to my channel. We do tons of fun content here, beauty content, shop with me's hauls, Dollar Tree. So if you like that, then make sure you also tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on my videos. It will like send you a little notification on your phone. <laughs> Okay, so for the expensive hair dryer, this was actually gifted to me. This is Bioionic, and hopefully you guys can see everything because I'm filming on that new camera, and I'm so nervous that I hope I'm in focus. So this is the Bioionic 10X. This is the Pro Ultra Light Speed Hair Dryer. So this is actually made by the same people who also own Wet Brush, which I thought was really cool, and they're located in the same area. Where I live. I don't know if you are ready for this, but this hair dryer is $295, which is honestly, when you think about it, people are spending $500 on the Dyson Airwrap, so maybe that seems like a drop in the bucket compared to the Dyson Airwrap. I mean, I'm just saying, but really, no, that's a very expensive hair dryer. So I was shocked when I received this. And I thought I would do a comparison. I'll talk a little bit about the hair dryer. If you guys want to skip ahead to me using it or the end results, you can skip around in the video. You won't hurt my feelings. I just want to make sure I give you guys all of the proper info about the tool. So this is available on Sephora as well as Ulta. It has almost five stars on Sephora's website. So it says, depending on your hair thickness and length, it says it's supposed to dry your hair under 10 minutes which really caught my attention it has natural volcanic mineral to infuse microhydration, which sounds real fancy ultimate shine and condition it's 1800 watts if anyone cares and it has far infrared heat to help accelerate drying times 75 percent less energy than conventional hair dryers and it weighs under one pound and it has low particle emissions for those. It has like a patented motor that's supposed to be overall better than all the other hair dryers. I always feel like hair dryer technology is always so fancy and I'm like yeah that sounds good. Ionic? Sure. So let me show you guys what this looks like. Comes in a really nice box. It even has its own little fancy dust bag. I mean you know your hair dryer is fancy when it has a dust bag. I've never seen that before. Like it's a purse or something. With this little concentrator which should I use this? Definitely feels lighter than most hair dryers. So that is a plus for sure. The right side and then with the left side, I'm going to use the Revlon One Step. I believe this is about $40 to $50. You can also get it on sale a lot. So we're going to do this one and then this one. See the result. I even went out to Sally Beauty, you guys, and you're going to laugh at me. I did not own a round hairbrush. I used to have them. Don't know what happened to them. Maybe in one of my moves, one of my many moves i must have got rid of them or something i don't know why but went to sally's got a new one gizzy knocked it on the floor already so this is just the round brush i got it's from ion it's the serma <laughs> it's the ceramic thermal high low twist round brush one in one half so what i'm gonna do the hoops are coming off because i am not about to blow dry my hair wearing hoops in my hair is i want to say like 80 percent dry and this is how i like to blow dry my hair when it is almost dry. I feel like I have more control that way and it helps me use less heat. Blow dry my hair when it's like full on wet. I feel like the only time that ever happens is when I'm like at the hair salon, which is like once a year. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of my Olaplex number six bond smoother. I got these during the Sephora sale, not this year, but last year. Into two parts here. I'm warning, I am not a professional hair dry person at all. I am just kind of winging it. First thing I'll tell you guys, I no 
notice how light it is. pretty good I'm like I said I'm not the best round brush blow dryer person but I feel like my hair is really nice and smooth like I don't really see too much frizz which is nice so when we finish this whole bottom portion I'll be able to tell a little bit better I'm just going to take down this part right here and I will blow dry this and I will definitely speed this up so I don't keep you guys here all day. guys so I just want to show you what I did this first section right here and I think it came out so pretty and I do feel like my hair has like no frizz or anything like that I feel like it looks really nice and shiny okay we have clearly relocated to my bathroom because I realized well I cannot blow dry my hair by my makeup desk because I blew a fuse or a circuit in my area over there because there's so much stuff plugged in and then adding in a blow dryer it just went kaput. I finished up this side with the expensive blow dryer the bioionic and now I'm going to move on to this side and do the Revlon brush hopefully we don't blow a fuse so let's do this one and see how it comes out so I'm just going to unclip this and then I'm going to section off again because it's a two-in-one so you're getting the brush and the blow dryer so you don't have to worry about holding the brush like kind of how I was struggling before this is why this is such a loved product because everyone wants that blow dried look but as you saw it's hard to do it with and the blow dryer you have to be coordinated guys thanks for bearing with me in my very small bathroom to share with you the end result of my little blow dry battle comparison between the bioionic $300 hair dryer and the Revlon one step which is about $40 so here are the final results and just to remind you this is the bioionic side and this is the Revlon one step side so let me step back so you can see a little bit better just so you guys know both sides I applied Olaplex number seven bonding oil and ran it through both sides and kind of just zhuzhed it up a little bit but what do you guys think I honestly think they look very similar I feel like as I'm examining it that the bioionic side does look like it has less frizz whereas this side there's a little bit more not terrible but I can see a little bit of the difference that this side just looks a little bit smoother but they are so close let me tell you do you think it is a much more complicated at least for me to do the round brush I don't even know how hairdressers do that all day long. I felt like such a klutz with it. Um, <laughs> with the Revlon One Step, obviously it is so much easier because you're eliminating a brush and the blow dryer, it's all in one as the name suggests. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, obviously I have longer hair, so it takes me <laughs> quite a bit longer to blow dry it. But my thoughts, I mean, I really love the way 
that both sides came out. I feel like this side has a little bit more style to it, the bioionic side. Like I feel like it looks a little bit more salon-esque. This side, I feel like it looks a little bit more basic, um, probably because with the brush, I was able to maneuver it more. The Revlon One Step, it's a lot thicker, so it's hard to get that like really nice curl, whereas with a blow dryer and a brush, you can maneuver it more, you can really make more of a curl, you can achieve more of your desired style, and of course, you can also switch the size of your brush with the blow dryer. Now, obviously, it would probably come out 10 times better if I was a little bit more of a professional. I'm sure uh, professional hairstylists would probably have a field day with that hair dryer, but I will definitely continue to use that blow dryer. I loved how light it was. I definitely felt that. I hate heavy blow dryers. I really don't blow dry my hair all that often, you guys. That's why I was like, oh, like I didn't know what I was doing. I really don't. I do a lot of air drying and heatless curls and stuff, but it's so nice to have my hair like kind of with a salon blowout like I feel like yeah I feel like I went to the salon I mean both sides I feel that way so let me know what you guys think down below I will have both of these listed if you guys want to check them out the bioionic and the Revlon one step so thank you guys so much for watching I'm sorry this video was so crazy I after I blew the fuse I had to kind of <laughs> redo what I was doing so if you enjoyed this comparison give this video a big thumbs up let me know in the comments down below but you guys think of the blowout. Do you like one side better than the other? Do you think they look the same? I would love to hear from you. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!